Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. This taken in at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team, 10th overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. And one of the things that has really impressed me about Ryan Tannehill has been his perseverance. Early in his career, didn't have the success that he desired. Had some injuries that slowed his development, but he kept working at his craft, and now he's a guy that I think you can put a game on his shoulders. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. Now he'll escape to his left. They find some open field here. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Henry again on second down. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? First down carry for Henry. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw hauled in by Westbrook Akina here. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he's not going to get the first down. He had to get to the 30, but he's a yard or two short. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Interesting decision here. Opening drive, Charles, fourth and short. You're in field goal range. We'll see what they do. I just shake a fist at my offense and say, go get it, guys, because if you can't pick up fourth and short here, we're probably in trouble the rest of the game. Show some confidence, show some aggressiveness, go pick it up. Bullock's kick is good, and the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. 
They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Amari Rodgers to return it from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Leading the Packers offense out here, the same man who has been doing so since 2008. That's the great Aaron Rodgers. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks, can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Here's Rodgers to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Oh, habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Buying time to his left. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Even later into his career now, there aren't too many guys that can launch it downfield with accuracy better than Aaron Rodgers. And how about how he improvised right there because he got flushed out of the pocket, locked eyes with his wide receiver, who knew to just keep running. And he was able to lay that one out there for him to run under. And to put a bow on it, next-gen stats saying that traveled an even 66 yards in the air. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. To throw is Rodgers. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Jones. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. If you're going to keep these guys out of the end zone, you've got to be able to commit to stopping the run. And that's a nice job there, getting the safeties involved in run support. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll run a toss here with Dillon. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. A.J. Dillon, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have answered that early field goal to take a first-quarter lead. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time, he had the speed to win that race. On 
is Mason Crosby for the point after. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So the drive there took six plays. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's got some space here. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. Steps away to his left. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Play action. It's Tannehill. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now it's Tannehill. Forced out to his left. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. 
The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On second and nine, Tannehill. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. This is caught. It's Woods. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 21. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. And defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second down, here's Henry. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Again, it's Henry. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Henry up the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. Now Tannehill. This will be caught at about the six. Only able to gain a couple there. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Tannehill to the sideline. Randy Bullock out now for the Tennessee field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Bullock's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So a long drive gets him down inside the 5, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation... They just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Yeah. 
After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Rodgers. And Lazard's got it again. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something? That guy is covering you. He's usually pretty good, too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Now it's Rodgers. Finds Lazard quickly on the slant. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Mario Edwards flies in to blow that play up. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Working from the gun, Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Third and five, so they bring in an extra defensive back. An expecting pass. Rodgers now to throw. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. The kick by Crosby is good, and they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, 
punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. It is fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Tennessee offense set to go again. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw is Tannehill. Dancing to his left. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. To try again after the sack. Tannehill. A check down here for Henry. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And he'll just get rid of it. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blank of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Titans in that first half. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. A happy sight for a lot of these fans. We're jumping right over halftime and getting back into the action. Meanwhile, for the Packers, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked as they have the lead through two quarters of play. So 
So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. On the return from his end zone, Rodgers. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Now Rodgers. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Rodgers now on first down. Caught on the right side by Jones. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 13. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Inside handoff, Henry. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, standing just outside his own goal line. Forty yards on the punt, two on the return, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and ten. 
The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. He'll complete this one to Watson. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And he goes down at the 26. A pickup of 13, and that last play began at the 13. First down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. To throw is Rodgers. Quick slant to Watson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Jones and they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup it'll be a three yard pickup and it brings up second and goal I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going he's such a big part of their offense I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run anything because you're right he's pretty much been completely neutralized on second and goal Rodgers and oh it'll be intercepted Picked by Kevin Byer, and the Titans are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So a costly INT in the end zone, no less, puts the brakes on their potential scoring drive. So many teams stick with the passing game down near the goal line because they see it as an extension of what they do between the 20s. But as we said many, many times, the further you drive, the more the field shrinks. And that was a nice job of making a play on the football and coming away with the interception. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And some space here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 62 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful, and that strength was on display there. And with a guy his size, you have to know defensively that arm tackles aren't going to fly with him. You have to be able to wrap up, or else he can just brush tacklers aside like they're not even there. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. 
Now a handoff to Henry. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On second and nine, Tannehill got his man complete over the middle. It's Woods. It'll be a gain of five, and it's third and four now. Draw play. This is Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Titans gain of 12. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. In this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Tannehill. And that's complete to Westbrook Akine. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. And he's got room. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 34 yards there at a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll try and run for it with Henry. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. You get down in this area of the field, you know you're going to get a heavy dose of number 22. They stopped him for a short game there, but can they do it a couple of more times? From the two now, second and goal. Here's Tannehill. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Austin Hooper, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans put together a fourth-quarter drive to take the lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it's capped off by the Austin Hooper touchdown. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And this taken in at the goal line. 
And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Now Rodgers, and this is caught by Watkins. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the 25, here's second and six. Here's Rodgers. Catch made by Watson on the out route. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Rodgers finding Watson for the Packer first. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Rodgers going to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Robert Tunyon, the intended target, but it'll be second down. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. How about this? They'll try the option left side and yeah, that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards a loss of a yard and it brings up fourth. Well, you know, if you've got the defense laying back, maybe that option works. But if you're coming hard on third down, it doesn't work because you force the hand of the quarterback and the runner too quickly. And most of the time, unsuccessfully. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return, and it'll be Titan football. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And the busy night for Henry continues. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. 121 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll try the right side with Henry. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. 
Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And here's Rodgers on the return. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. To throw, it's Rodgers. Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing now is Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones, and they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Rodgers again now. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. To throw again on second down. Rodgers. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Big third down. A field goal from this spot, 57 yards, as they hope to move it a little closer. Now Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he's going to have a Packers first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Now a draw play. This is, oh, no, he lost the football. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. And that might be Titan football. It is. Well, that's simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Rodgers throw here pulled in by Lazard. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 22-yard line. I'm starting to wonder here, are they trying to prevent winning? Because right now, they're laying back and they're picking them apart, moving the ball downfield. I think they got to start bringing a little pressure towards the quarterback. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Rodgers. 
He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit, because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Extra point try now for Crosby. And that will make this a four-point game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So now Tannehill and the Titans down 17-13, 46 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing Tannehill. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Tannehill. And incomplete on the deep ball. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Tannehill to throw. And it's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Desperation time for Tannehill on fourth down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. So now let's look at the situation. They do have all three timeouts remaining. So barring a first down, they could conceivably get the ball back. So now it's all about defense and stopping the clock. Don't give up any yardage, right? Use your timeouts. And your offense always practices going downfield without timeouts. You know, those two-minute drills, uh, most of them are run in practice without the benefit of timeouts. They want to make it as tough a situation as possible. They're in it right now. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Again, it's Jones. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. 
as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, here's Jones. Now a timeout called for by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. The kick by Crosby is good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And last time went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the...